Here is a video that will tell you the basic usage and working of Browserify. To explain the working of Browserify, I have set up this project. So here is the script one.js file, and here the variable message contains the string hello, and I have exported it using module dot exports is equals to message. You you can see this statement. And now in uh, script two dot js file, I have imported that script one, and here in this statement, I did nothing. Just taken that string that is hello, added a space, and then the word world, and after this I have printed this in, in console. So let execute it so node script to dot js and here is the result hello world so it is the that we want but what will happen if i want to embed this script dot js script to dot js file in a html file so that it can be executed over client side so let's try create a new html file so now let me open it in browser so in browser you can see a error that require is not defined so it cannot resolve this require function now here comes the browser file so first of all we need to install browser file for that we will use the command npn install hyphen g for global and then browser file hit enter this will install browser file I have already installed browser file so I close that terminal and open a new one so now run the command browser file input file name in our case it is script two dot js and then hyphen o then output file name that generally we use the wonder dot js hit enter and it will create a bundle.js file now we will embed that bundle.js file in our html file and now reload this page and you can see hello world what actually Browserify does is the it resolves the all the required calls and put all the content in one file that we named bundle.js whatever changes we will do over here and then again run the command and now reload and you can see so I think you have got some basic idea of Browserify and how to use it so thanks for watching this video L like this video subscribe my channel and that's all